Now, I have to say, this is probably the most excited that I've ever actually been about an electric motorcycle. And I'll hold my hand up in the air and say, I've never really liked electric motorcycles. For me personally, I'm a bit of a traditionalist and I like the sound of that beautiful exhaust note that you get from a combustion engine. That was until I seen this. Imagine motorcycling in the future. An experience that adapts to you. The changing traffic and to any road you're on. Imagine having a sixth sense of everything around you and being connected to your surroundings in an entirely new way. Imagine a whole new level of aliveness, free from worry, free from discomfort, free to enjoy each and every moment in its entirety. We did. Now you can't say that that isn't amazing. So the name of this company is Damon Motorcycles. They first started off by selling 25 limited edition motorcycles and those 25 motorcycles pretty much sold straight away. Now the really interesting thing about that is that you can actually go on their website and you can see each and every one of those 25 motorcycles, see what colour they are and who's bought them. Now the name of that motorcycle was Hypersport but they have also got the Hypersport Premier and you can actually put a deposit down for that. In fact, first of all, we're gonna get out of this wind because it is blowing. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna sit around this campfire. The Hypersport Premier costs just under $40,000 and I personally don't think that's actually that bad. I have to take into consideration that this is a limited edition bike and it has Brembo brakes, it has Olin suspension and it also has a single sided swing arm. Now these motorcycles can go up to 200 miles per hour and you can go up to a distance of 200 miles on them which for an electric motorcycle is amazing. The 0-60 on these are around about 3 seconds so there is more than enough power for you to get a giggle or two. There is good news, you do not need to buy the limited edition which is just under $40,000. They are bringing out a new model next year which will be around about $25,000. Now when you consider you can buy the Zero Sports motorcycle for around about £21,000, it's not that bad. I mean just look at this motorcycle, it does look amazing. Yes, it does look like a Ducati Panigale but I actually think it looks better. Now the real difference between every other electric motorcycle and motorcycle out there is that this has what is essentially a co-pilot. And what that is, is that it has a camera and also a radar at front of the motorcycle and it also has a camera at the rear. And essentially what that'll do is help make your journey much more safer by telling you if anybody's pulling out on you or if there's any other dangers up front that you may not be able to see. And as a biker myself, I really do welcome that. I think that's a fantastic thing to have and I'm just surprised that no other motorcycle company has actually gone ahead and done that already. Considering what sort of technology is out there now, AI is absolutely fantastic. Uh, perfect example is Tesla. Just look how amazing their system is and it's probably saved hundreds, if not thousands of lives. So yeah, for me, I think that's fantastic. I think where it goes wrong is where AI takes more control than there should be. You know, if it started to prevent me from enjoying the ride, then yes, I don't think that is necessary. Now, I believe the only difference between the $40,000 bike and also the $25,000 bike is that you won't be having any of the added accessories such as Brembo brakes, Olin suspension, and also a single-sided swing arm. But you will still be getting the top speed and you will still be getting the distance, as well as the other features such as the co-pilot, and also the one I haven't talked about yet, which is the adjustable riding position. Now this is also a fantastic feature that they've got and it's completely new, it's completely different. I don't think any other motorcycle has done this yet 
and it adjusts the riding position of the seat as well as the handlebars and also the windscreen and I believe the foot pegs as well. So if you're just commuting and you just want to go down to the shops then you don't have to be in a super sport position and you don't have to feel uncomfortable on long rides. Whereas if you want that extra gain in speed and you want to be a bit more sporty then you can adjust that to how you want. Now I'll talk a bit about the co-pilot feature and how it works. So what it does, it scans for the road up ahead. If it notices anything dangerous or if it predicts that a car's gonna pull out or anything like that, you'll then get a haptic feedback through the handlebars. So once you get that vibration through the handlebars, it doesn't just break. It just reminds you that maybe you should slow down a bit and put the brakes on. That's good that they haven't fully taken control of the motorcycle and forced you to brake. Uh, I think that could probably be a bit dangerous anyway on a motorcycle but saying all that I think it is good that they're starting to go down that road where Tesla has as well and that is why I'm so excited about this because it's gonna save lives okay we're not superhuman as bikers we can't see everything and having that little bit of help from technology is a blessing in disguise it really is I think it's such a fantastic feature to add to motorcycles in fact it probably should have been added to motorcycles sooner anyway I'm gonna put my little book away now <laughs> I've literally just written down a load of words and uh, hope for the best um, but it literally is like Robocop's bike you know or judge judge man judgment dude Sylvester Stallone yeah that guy but of course it's very expensive still and it's probably going to take another five years before it becomes quite normal and they start adding features like that into other brands such as Yamaha, Suzuki, etc. The great thing about today is that there's a lot of startup companies that we've probably never heard of before that are coming out with such fantastic ideas and I believe that we really do need to support them because they are changing the landscape of motorcycles and everything that we see today and um, I think it's nothing but good okay eventually combustion engines will cease to exist so it would be nice to have classics like that of course and keep that but at the same time you got to move forward haven't we especially when it comes down to safety i personally believe that we won't be substituting speed for safety i think you could still have a lot of fun i'm just watching where i go going now because i'm just going over all these rocks but i believe you could still have a lot of fun on a motorcycle have all the safety features and it still be an absolute blast. I hope anyway. I hope that it doesn't become so restricted that you just feel, well, I might as well just get a car. That's not what motorcycles are all about. Anyway, enjoy the outtakes because I did miss it. No. See, I'm messing up now. Oh, what am I on about? Anyway, enjoy the outtakes because I did mess up a few times. <laughs> a few times, okay? <laughs> Well, that's really interesting. I just seen a little uh, door in a tree. I kid you not. Just look at this, guys. I am not joking you. There is a door in a tree, okay? Now, and I live here and I don't see these things and it's just weird. So let's open it up and see who's inside. You ready for this, guys? Oh my God. FBI, open up! <laughs> what the hell? How cool is that though, guys? <laughs> now I'll talk a little bit about the... Now I'll talk a little bit about the... Shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now I'll talk a bit about the co-pilot... That it means is that the handlebars will vibrate and that just gives you just a little bit and then once you've once you've been vibrated <laughs> once you've had that vibration through the handlebars then that'll um, it'll make you do something
Once you get a bit of vibration through the handlebars, then you'll want to brake because you'll die. <laughs> um, <laughs> how am I wording this? Why is this so hard? Why am I making this harder than it is? My God. <laughs>